right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay. Today is Saturday something. Eighth, ninth, I don't know anymore. Anymore, I don't know. But it's Saturday before Sunday after Friday. That's all I can tell you. I look shuffled because I've been busy today. I had a yard sale that brought me in nothing hardly. $30 and $33 and some change, I think. That was a joke. Um, I'm not ungrateful, but I guess my junk ain't worth nobody else's money. And that's fine. That's fine. Whatever it is. Um, I'm having one of those days where it's like cut my losses and just get the out of the out of Florida. Oh, sorry about that. I'm headed to go pick my daughter up. Ashley and her got married before Christmas, but Ashley wanted to give notice at the job. So he gave his two weeks notice and he's working it out and they've been going back and forth from, cause he had to give 30 days notice on his rent and he did. So he still had use of the room that they rented. So she called me up right in the middle of me packing boxes and says, mom, will you come get me? I'm like, uh, let me come get you now. And she's like, yeah, I'm like, oh, cause she doesn't drive yet. Living in Tampa did not need to drive the bus system. Okay. And that's fine. People in New York do it. I'm like, yes, but I got to come get you and come right back. Cause it's, it's a little bit of a drive. It's over an hour to go get her. So she's like, I want to, you got the truck empty. I'm like, oh, that means we're moving stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I can have it empty. It'll take me a minute. I feel very dishuffled right now. Does that make any sense? I feel very dishuffled. The moment I think I'm catching my breath in it all and I'm getting my getting things figured out and getting things packed up and caught up, that's the moment a monkey wrench comes along and unscrews my bolt and just messes me up. Not that my screws were on my bolts were my screws were and bolts were tight to start with, but I have 12 days until the movers get here. Am I ready for the movers? No. So I have 12 days. Will I be ready? Hopefully. There's no way I can sell any everything I want to sell in the yard sales before I'm before the divorce. There's no way. You need six months to unload the lifetime of crap I have. Because I don't have just my lifetime of crap. I have my mother's lifetime of crap. So I told the husband that after I leave, they continue to have yard sales for the next six months. Just send me half of the money. He said he would, so let's see. I'm just tired of it all. I think actually, if you look at me, I think I actually look pretty okay compared to. I have been trying to sleep at night. I try not to like get upset about nothing. Oh, I'm tired though. I'm tired. I really have been trying to breathe, take it easy-ish. It's easy as you can take when you're going through something. Um, not get worked up over stuff. If I get mad, I call Bebbles. I, 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 I blubber at her about it. I rant and blubber and blabble and fume and fuss with her. Uh, and she usually gets me laughing at some point of the conversation and talks me down and that's what you need a best friend for. <laughs> and she works me right through it. So, <sighs> but I was in the middle of packing boxes. I'd just been down on the floor in the kitchen cupboard going through baking pans seeing if there's anything I wanted. And uh, I was wrapping up stuff when I got the phone call. So that's what I've been doing today. Yard sale and packing. Because I stuck out the yard sale until about 2 o'clock. And I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it anymore. Like I said, hardly anybody showed up for the yard sale. So I said, forget it. I'm done. So. Needless to say, now I'm headed to Tampa get the daughter and her junk 
and uh, just bring more junk back to more junk. And then I'm gonna come back home. I'm gonna continue to pack boxes tonight. I wanted to have the kitchen done tonight, except for the china. I don't know what to do with my mother's china that my dad gave her before he died. I think it's going to Kentucky with me in a box. I think I'm taking the china cabinet too because I looked it up. <clears throat> it's worth something. <laughs> and I don't want to just give it away. I'd rather keep it and possibly maybe plan on using it down the road or at least sell it when I can take the time and energy to get a fair, value, fair, fair price for it. Right now, if I sold it, I'd probably take a major loss. And I have taken too many losses recently on things I had to sell. And I'm done taking any more losses. I'm, I'm not bitter, but I'm getting sour. <laughs> not, not, not at the whole situation. Not at him per se, but at the whole freaking situation. I'm getting soured. If that makes any sense. Um, it's like a bad taste in the mouth kind of thing. I know it'll be over before you know it because it's the divorce is on the 26th. That's if today's the 9th, that's less than 20 days away. So, I mean, it's it, it'll be over, you know, boom, done. Um, and then see what's next. So, just tired of it all, just tired of it all. It, divorce is exhausting. It really is. Unless you're going to walk away completely with nothing and just walk out the door or get kicked out the door. Divorce is exhausting. And again, like I've said to everybody else, I'm doing this the way I want to do it. So it, I'm the one probably walking away with, with less than he is um, materialistically. Um, because honestly, I, I, I would need to be down here in Florida for six months to at least get everything I want to get right now. Um, you know, be able to walk away from the divorce completely done. Um, it is an agreement in our divorce papers for me to be able to come back and get stuff. But I was trying to get the things I really, really wanted right now. So, just have to take it step by step. <sighs> I don't know. Let me put you guys on hold and come back to you guys when I get um, done a little bit later. And then I'll tell you about how the whole day ended. But right now, I'm going to say hang in there for a minute. All right, you guys, got the daughter, got home, finished packing a box, made some dinner, made some dinner, finished packing a box, one or the other, I don't know, and uh, got, I swear, I think that I used a shampoo, and I swear it has made my head so itchy, so itchy, I don't know if it's, if it's, the weather a little bit change if it's the shampoo I used I don't know but my head has been so itchy today so itchy I feel like <laughs> it's just been so itchy I could just take fingernails and scratch it all over I think it's the shampoo I used all right so okay now I talked about an itchy scalp well it's it's the end of the day I'm gonna curl up on the couch watch some what am I watching? I'm going to watch some on YouTube. Mountain Men. I'm watching Mountain Men on YouTube. So I will say like and subscribe. And if you don't like my videos, I'm sorry. But enjoy the craziness of life. Because you might laugh about it when you tell a friend. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good night.